Sega. Hello, hello. Welcome days long past. to the dark oh, let's watch the movie first. Calamity invaded Europa, pushing her to the brink of ruin. But the godly Valkyria heard the prayers of the people. Brandishing spears wreathed in blue flame, they struck down the Darksen invaders, ushering Europa into an era of peace. Uh, that's kind of an interpreted history. If you've played Valkyria Chronicles 1, which is on my YouTube channel. But yeah, this is uh, being played on the PSTV. It's a PSP game. PSTV is essentially uh, a Vita, which you could hook into your television set and play games on. Perfect for PSP or Vita games. Music's pretty good on the PSP. Same with the voices. I mean, they were little CDs, but teeny tiny CDs. Lots and lots of characters in this one. Looks like we're gonna have lots of friends. There's the enemies, of course. Uh, oh yeah, this is like Military Academy, the game. The first game was all about being a country bumpkin going against the army. This one's about, I guess, being a country bumpkin going to school. Then taking control of an army. But you know, throw school in with any game, any TV show. That's a, that's a pretty basic trope for anime or television. And this is anime, that's for sure. Super anime. So I'm guessing that's going to be the core squad right there. And the main character is going to be Mr. Redhead Dude. Uh-oh, love triangle. Maybe. So yeah, welcome to Valkyria Chronicles 2. This is a sequel to, obviously, the first one, Valkyria Chronicles, which was on the PS3. Why they put the second one on the PSP, I don't know. But they never made a remaster or a higher definition version, so this is the version we're playing. Let's give it a shot. Alright, so oddly they have an install option. If you actually had a UMD disk, you could install some data and make things load quicker, I guess. But since this is digital, it's not necessary. we just got to gloss over that. Extras... I think this is like DLC and stuff. But there's nothing unlocked yet because I didn't download anything or put in a password to unlock things. I guess you go online, there's probably, you could probably just go to GameFAQs and find a lot of passwords. And you get like maybe a few new missions, some special bonus items. We'll worry about that some other time. For now, we want to, well, check options. Uh, da, 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 I'll keep a normal. Of course, we want subtitles on. I love that song by default. A lot of games don't do that. They pre-balanced the music and such. These are not maxed out. That's interesting. Usually they mix it ahead of time. And when it's all maxed, it's properly mixed. For this one, I guess uh, they decide this is the good mix. Post fact of embedding it in the game. That's interesting. Uh, still data is... I wonder if I should have that on or off. I'll have to look that up later. Maybe it will load quick if I hit on. And uh, I guess that's it. Were there any other options? Yeah, battle. Change the camera angles, yada yada. Map display, yes. Sight lines showing where the enemies are looking. Yes, yes, yes. Enemy speed. We'll keep that so we see what they're choosing for now. And let's start a new game. Difficulty. Easy or normal? I think we're definitely going for normal. This just says, uh, less damage taken. So, normal. For the full experience. Yes. Do, 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 do. Shave here. Yes. The year Just me back from the distance. Two powers stood poised for war. And I don't remember what EC stands the for. East European Imperial Alliance. And in the West, the Atlantic Federation. 
Open conflict erupted as they vied for control. And this of is the essentially World War. It's just the with lances, European gun lances. Had begun. Caught between giants, the small principality of Gallia. In countries which obviously no aren't real prize, countries, but Gallia they are. Possessed rich deposits of I think that's ore, France. A valuable energy source. The Imperial Alliance marched on Gallia. This is essentially claim those resources for its own. Explain what happened in the first game. The Empire conquered more than half of Gallia before the Gallian militia turned the tide and expelled the invaders. 1937. Two years have passed since the Imperial Alliance invaded Gallia. Ah, Tetris D blocks, no! But across the continent, I hate those. The fires of war still rage. It never stops. Never. I mean, we stopped the Imperial crazy psycho rush towards the capital of Gallia, but I guess they're suggesting the war is still going. I'm looking for an Avon Hardens. Well, looks like you found him. Oh, well. What can I do for you? You could be me. I'm he. That is. He's the player. Oh, wow. Brixham. I instruct at the Lanseal Royal Military Academy. Okay. Hey, my brother Leon goes there. Does he really have to walk around with the uh, pointer stick? That this is your brother, then. Yep, that's him, all right. So, how's he doing? I wonder. He's probably dead. I realize this is sudden. Uh oh. And it pains me to be the bearer of sad tidings. But your brother, Leon Hardens, has passed away. No. Oh, hey, Squid Dude. Uh, guy who joined the YouTube chat, welcome to the stream. What? No, this is a pretty bad part. Because. I offer you my sincerest condolences. While still holding this pointer in a really stupid way to indicate that I am his teacher in a super artistically cheap manner. Hey, w wait, just a minute. Why is. How did he die? I don't know, got shot. All that goes on at the academy is classified for national security. <laughs> Yes, while training, we accidentally shot him. Sorry. I'm afraid I cannot tell you any of the details surrounding his death. Bum bum bum. I'm just gonna join the academy and become all special and learn. You can't Whoa. Tell me. That's messed up. I'm his family. Leon wouldn't. My brother can't be dead. Man, that's crazy. It's impossible. He was stronger than anybody I ever. He could punch bullets. Like that. That's him. That was nearby. Bad news, Ivan. We got rebels. They're attacking Melvir. Rebels? Now? Of all the times they could pick. Grab your guns, guys. We'll join the town guard and send them packing. All right. Just gonna show I got gumption and okay. initiative, and I'm gonna be a great protagonist. Yeah, I think there's a weird thing in this country where pretty much everyone gets basic training. Sort of like, uh, what does Switzerland do that? Uh, Israel? I know a bunch of real world countries do that. You get some kind of military training. All right. Here's the situation. So we want to defeat all the enemy units. We don't want a fun to fall in combat. Or 20 turns to pass, which is quite a long time. Morale's a new thing. I don't know what that is. Uh, credits. So the rebel army is attacking Melvia. Join forces with the town guard to defeat all enemy units. I'm not really sure what this is saying. Parts, rifle stock A. Is that a part I could find on the map? What did I, I don't know. Anyway, there's enemies. They're scouts. Let's start. Mm -hmm. So we have three people on our team. Me, two watchmen. Uh, mission info. It's this stuff again. And I guess we just deploy. Or wait. Here we go. Place units. You cannot place squad members whose deployment is fixed. Alright, so these three are probably fixed. 
And I could check my status here. These two are the same. I start with more HP. I have better shoot and evade. They don't like anything. My likes are question marks. We all have the same weapons. Uh, details. Are they the same? 16, 12, 75, 16, 12, 75, 185. Yeah, they're, they're the same. All right, so we shoot just per, almost the same between armor and rather regular units. Okay, accuracy. Looks like good range. Five shots, infinite ammo. Area N. Uh, I guess that means no area effect. Suppression D. I guess really bad suppression. The grenade does a lot of damage. More against armor. I wonder if it could fail 1% of the time with the accuracy. I, I don't know. Range 60. That's how far I could throw it. And I only get one. The field suit. 8, 6. Oh, we have front side and rear defense in this game. That's different. First game didn't do that. So we don't want people shooting us from behind. Ale resistance, I guess ailments. Suppression resistance, I think, is the other one. We don't really get any. Do they have the same? Yeah, field two one. All right, so uh, d deploy. Loading, loading. See, I wonder if this will be quicker if I ticked uh, install information on. Here we go, guys. These rebels are history. I think they're here presently. So our morale was one, and it jumped up to three. Listen up now. Unit actions. The mission begins. You'll see a bird's eye view. Yada yada. Command mode. So it's just like a, you know, an army map, or a, like you see football, football chalkboards. Where's the X button? Uh-huh. Now oh, that's so complicated. Tex is a little slow. I might have to tell it to go faster. So maybe it's better to leave that way just in case we have slow readers. No, I'm kidding, but it's just safer. Alright, so there we go. We can move the control stick discreetly. That's cool. Just being sure we have analog control. Uh, let's see, squad, info, these are the enemies, 75 HP, 450 AP, AP is how far you can move, action points, it's essentially how far you can move, uh, so we have 450 as well, our HP is way higher than theirs, they have twice as much, I have more than that, uh, their weapons have different names, but I assume... They're going to be... Oh, can I check? Wow. No defense. Sorry, guys. You're going down. 280, 160. Is that the same as mine? Just curious. Uh, 280, 160. It doesn't... Whoa, did I read that right? 160, 280, 160, 280, 160, 280. So their grenades are stronger than mine against armor. Their gun is 1418. A little bit lower accuracy and range. 1418. 1418. Why is there. It's just strange. It's better against armor. Both are their things. Anyway, that's basically it. Let's uh, get in there. So, if I try to select these guys, what does it do? Nothing. Let's select one of mine. How about the main character? Hey, we got L Inkling in the room too. Two squid people. That's pretty cool. Welcome to okay, Valkyria Chronicles 2. This is a PSP game being played on the PSTV. All right, so you want traction mode. Uh-huh, we could move, we could attack. Use the analog stick to move. You could move the camera left or right. Yeah, this is P like if you were playing on PSP, which is kind of weird because the directional pad and the joystick is on the left. There's nothing on the right except, uh, you know, triangle, square, X, and circle. So they have to relegate the camera controls to the shoulder buttons and I guess up and down to the triangle and X. 
But yeah, we can only move so much. And you don't get it back. You know, some strategy games, you move forward and you move back, you get your movement points back. Not in this, because it's a real-time turn-based strategy game. It's kind of weird. What I mean by that is, right now, if I was within range of the enemy, they'd be shooting at me the whole time. Because, uh, it's a pseudo-real-time game. Let's move the camera. Yeah, the, huh? Push it both at once to center it again. And we could use the stick to rush. I'd rather just walk, though. That's with the D-pad. So we went forward. Now they're going to tell us how to attack. Okay. And then we aim. Oh, L and R snaps to them. That's good to know. Okay, so assuming they're not dead, they'll have a shot back at me too. Okay, so I'm just gonna test something with the movement. I'm moving the analog stick really slowly. Nope, it goes to full tilt instantly. So you can't move slowly with the analog stick, you just instantly rush. Alright, so there's only two movement speeds, slow walking or running. Alright, so I could crouch here. In the first game, if you crouch behind a sandbag, you can't get shot in the head, so no critical hits against you, which is really nice. And it's harder to hit you as well. Let's go ahead and start shooting, so we could use L and R to auto-aim. And it just aims at the body, which isn't so helpful. We want to shoot at their head, usually. We're going to want to see what the uh, range is. That whole circle is the range. So if I aim here, probably all my shots are going to hit him on the body. And these five shots and he would die. If I shoot the head, some shots might pass around him like that. Now, I don't think it's perfectly that way. What it's showing is the direct center. It's more likely to hit around the center, I think. So it's not like there might be a what? Filling a 20% of the circle, the entirety of him. I don't think it's going to be a 1 in 5 chance I hit his head. I think it's higher. We'll test that in just a moment. It might be safer just to aim for his body and get 5 hits, but I'm going to try to aim for his head. And get the 2 to kill him. It says rear up for aim. So I assume since I'm aiming from behind him, it means I'm going to have a higher, uh, higher chance of hitting him. So probably even better ch reason to aim for his head. So let's give it a shot. Well, first, other weapon. Ooh. Alright. How far can we throw? Yeah, I'm not gonna waste it here. Let's go ahead and uh try to shoot his head off. Coming at you. Oh, <laughs> both shots. Both initial shots hit him. Enemy down. So if this is like the other game, it's usually best to aim for the head. Only attack once while moving a unit. Do you finish moving and made an attack and return to command mode? Now, right? I still have all the AP down there I could use. It does not carry over to another turn. So I'm going to go ahead and ignore what they suggested. And keep going. Oh crap, he's shooting. I was stuck. And uh, take out my gun. Oh, I can only shoot once per turn. Never mind. I kind of forgot about that little rule. So, yeah, you could only shoot once per turn. You could move still, but... You know, that's it. Anyway, it looks like they're doing next no damage to me, so I'm fine. Plus, I'm behind the sandbag. So, selecting a unit uses one CP. And keep selecting units until you have no CP. Alright, so all the, uh... Every time you move a unit, that's a CP, essentially. And every time you're moving a unit, you can move them a lot, but they can only shoot once in that turn. Well, let's move this next guy. Sandbags. Okay. Uh huh. Move close sandbags. Push the circle button to crouch. You'll crouch behind it, give you some cover. Uh, you're harder to hit. And less damage, meaning, well, I think you overall take less damage, and they cannot get critical hits. But yeah, sandbags are very good. Always go to a sandbag if you can. So hop over this. Move here and crouch. I better take out my gun. Now, when you take out your gun, the game freezes. That's pretty much the only way to freeze it. Oh, you could switch shoulder. That's good. All right. Now that guy's so far away. 
I could still try to aim for his head and kill him, but that's not going to work. Not with this loser, anyway. We are going to try to shoot this guy in the head twice. Or... No, let's try it again. See how it goes. So, let's see. I uh, hit him in the head both times again. Now, I saw on the left the morale went up. So, oops. Uh, let's end this turn. So, hitting somebody in the head gives you uh, more morale. Or rather, killing them, I guess. So, I'm checking my other options here. Commands. Commands are basically special powers you could use that would cost one CP to retreat somebody, but it won't let me this map. Uh, so menu. It's just showing this stuff again. End phase. Don't want to do that yet. Change game settings. We're fine with all that. Alright, so let's choose the last guy. Let's bring up the... Oh, we can't bring up options when we're in this mode. All right, so we're just going to go and get the last guy. Do, 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 do. You know, I'm going to just rush all the way up to him. Take out my gun and shoot him point blank. Because I'm pretty sure we're fine. So let's just take him out. Take this. Okay, yeah. Never missed once. That was hard. Not really. All right, we sent them packing. Wondering why these there are these weird dots all over the screen. It's trying to make it look like it's hand drawn, kind of, with the filter on the PSP screen. Because in the original game, everything kind of had this watercolor look. So I expect when the screen is small, those little dots and stuff make it look a little bit more scribbly. When it's blown up, not so much. Anyway, we got an A rank for clearing it in one turn. So I expect they give us more experience points. And DCT's the money. I forget what it stands for. But it's money. Phew. That should keep them out of Melvere for a while. A fine bit of leadership, gathering those men in the face of a surprise attack. I assume that bubble means he's thinking to himself. Apparently, it's a family trait. Oh, my brother was hey. good, huh? You really won't tell me how my brother died. So I'm gonna join the Academy and find out. That is correct. It's classified information, I'm afraid. Are you smiling after you asked that question? I guess that ends our conversation. You'll just have to let me into your academy, then. What? You want to enroll? Sure Leon do. You can't be dead. My brother just wouldn't go down that easy. Period. Uh, I assume they have his body. If it's just I missing an action, you should, um... This certificate of death indicates that he... All right, certificate of Spare death. Spare me the paperwork. You could tell me if he's MIA or not, I hope. I'm telling wow. you, I don't buy it. Not until I see proof with my own eyes. Hmm. Then I suppose you'll be needing this. What? What is it? What is it? <laughs> yeah, what is it? An application for new enrollment at Lanseal. Whoa. I have to apply? Come on, you said you're a teacher. Yeah, documentation's kind of important, dude. As a non-scouted applicant, you'll face stricter standards for acceptance. If you still wish to apply, I won't stop you. And I'm going to... Liberty to try. And I'm going to help you behind the scenes, because you're just like your brother. Ha ha ha. But if you uh. think just anyone can get in, well, you'll learn soon enough. This game does try to go for a kind of sepia tone look, or sepia tone, however you pronounce that. That's why it's kind of brownie-ish. Now, That's not if you'll excuse me, brownish we'll meet again. like Good a day. typical modern game. It's brown like it's old school. You know, like a western or something. Or old timey. So lots of browns and reds. Leon, and yellows. Just like you always said. If Galley is ever going to be at peace again, guys like us have to fight for it. So essentially the war is still happening after last game, I guess, is the idea. I forget exactly how the last game ended. For student enrollment? 
Fine, I'll pass your stupid test. I mean, I know we beat the big bad, and then uh, the game kind of ended showing that Remember's the war was going our no way. Stopping me. I assume I'm for you, Leon. we're still finding the Imperial Army and stuff. And then we're playing as a guy with pie in the sky hopes about his brother. That's okay, that gets us into the academy and into battle and conflict, and that's how games work. Yeah, that looks pretty good, watercolor clouds. Good rendition on the PSP screen. Also, the borders are faded out a bit. The Principality of Gallia. Still reeling from the recent invasion, Gallia now faces new troubles from within. Would that? Following the ceasefire between Gallia and the Imperial Oh yeah, Alliance, that's what happened after the, end of the last game. Cordelia Girandgris chooses to make public her Darkson heritage. Yeah, that's a big deal. Last game where Many respond favorably to her candor, but she, not all. She was supposed to be Valkyrie, United which by their hatred of the Darksons, a group of nobles forms the Gallian Revolution. Are essentially a superpowered, commonly known as the Rebels. Ancient heritage. Their campaign to purge Gallia of any Darkson influence soon earns them great favor in the south. Which is really a darks in which we're wrongly accused of being the stage is set who the civil basically set up all the bad things that happened since the Valkyria took control long ago. So now that she's saying she's a darks and people are like, oh no, that's terrible and bad. And we got this rebel army who wants to take her off the throne. Uh, the darks are supposed to be like the analog to the Jews in this ga these games. It's not exactly the same, but the idea about the persecution and stuff. <laughs> that was a weird laugh. I always stand up, dude. Hmm. I stretch those legs and your butt. I'll do it. And that picture's always just looks so weird. Like he's off balance, gonna fall over backwards. Yay, school life in a military game. Let's we'll see how this goes. Royal Military Academy. The oldest and most prestigious martial institution in all of Gallia. Here, cadets drill tirelessly to live up to the standards set by those who have gone before. The school motto, never far from their thoughts. Victory through diligence, peace through strength. Border is kind of cool, it's like a compass. Uh, Fleur de Rose, I forget what they call the compass point thingy. Uh, Fleur de Rose is that, never mind. Anywho, this is uh, the military academy, yay! Looks pretty. Then we have uh, the classroom they want us to go to. Everything's the same, of course. Uh, we could save now. Well, I guess we already did save, but that's all before the movies. Let's just save again. And there's nothing to do except pick the classroom, so let's do so. <laughs> there's that laugh again. Why do all these main... I, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of main characters always have like their collars popped or unbuttoned or when they're in a special uniform because it's just to look different. So this is going to be our typical shonen protagonist. Everything's going to be exciting for him. He's got to win. <sighs> And he 
He doesn't like thinking. And his tie is too short, or simply tied totally incorrectly. I guess that's the point. He's not a military kid. He's a country bumpkin. Oh, not a bumpkin, but he's from the country. So deep. I'll do it. Hey, is this seat taken? Nope. All yours. Hello, other main character. We could tell because you've got standout hair. Hey, so, uh, my name's Yvonne. I mean, blonde's not a special hair color, but I doubt there's going to be any other background characters with blonde hair. Hey, any time. I'm trying to concentrate, if you don't mind. Uh-oh, there's the bookish guy. He's always going to try to keep us on the line, but we'll be our best friend in the background. Honestly. There's one in every single school anime. her breath because she doesn't want to talk whenever she breathes she talks uh, so she's gonna defuse the situation by getting their attention and I'm wondering, what's wrong? What's wrong is she's a doofus. <laughs> That's totally normal. Honestly. <laughs> the panels attack each other. have to take the test. Hey. It's probably just animated through. Oh yeah, I forgot. Dark's in dark blue hair. That's usually them. Kind of purpley. Lavendery. Bluey. It looks almost hey. black, but it isn't. Yes, my character did not do a good job. Mr. Glasses did a fine job. And I can't breathe, girl. No, they're not going to mention it. <sighs> huh? I thought you'd be excited. Well, he's upset about the test. So is this going to be more tutorial? Yeah, always save. So let's see. Oh, can't do it here. I have to go to menu, save, save. And then we don't pick a spot. There's only one save, I guess. There's nothing else to do here but go to the drill grounds. Just make a timestamp. There we go. I'm Rodriguez. Oh. Sir to you. I'm the proctor for your field exam. 
Hey, Rodriguez. He was in the first game. He was our drill sergeant. He was always kind of loud. You will now form teams of three and participate in simulated combat. I liked him. Answer when called. Cosette Colherth. That's a cool last name. Y yes, sir. Next is Zary. Yes, sir. Zary. Last up, Avon Hardin. This could be kind of tricky to remember. Zary. Yo, sir. You are Team A. Oh, how convenient. Hey, All the Rose, characters who bumped into each other of introductory. Shot. Blah, blah, blah. They're the main characters. You They're a team. All set to go, Zary? Why does she get Just green? I get the two of you dumped on me. Why does he get big shoulder frauds? Excuse me? You care to repeat that, tough guy? Uh, hey guys, stop it! Why did my tie suddenly get longer? Now. Why am I asking these questions? Down, okay. If you're ready to begin, step forward. You Imagine them stepping forward. Here, but a hit to the wrong spot can still kill. Uh, what? Don't go dropping your guard just because this is a simulation. As if. I've got plans, and none of them involve dying here. Yeah. Oh, I'm all nervous. I hope this goes well. It's like my brother used to say. Uh, oh yeah. Envision the self you wish to be, then take action to become him. Mm -hmm. We're gonna win this in a landslide for sure. Well, at least somebody's excited about All right, this. Let's go, you two. Move out. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what types they are. She's probably an engineer. He's probably a uh, uh. I don't really know. Shock trooper. He doesn't seem like a shock trooper. Uh, mission info. Common skills will be put to the test in this mock battle. Let's capture the enemy base. Okay. So same as before. Well, except now we have a base camp we don't want to get captured. We still don't know what those parts mean. Machine gun stock, that's different from the rifle stock. Okay. Uh, squad. We can't place them, I'm sure, because they're fixed. Yep. Let's take a look at them. So HP. Wow, she is. she's an engineer as a guest, and he's a shock trooper. All right. Shock troopers move slower. Yeah, 350 versus 450. But they tend to do more damage. Her AP is the same as mine. Her health is so much lower. What shoot and evade mean? I guess just, uh... How good we're at shoot accuracy, just innately. Anywho, 6, so what do we have? 16, 12, 75. 16, 12, 75. 16, 12, 75. The machine, machine gun doesn't do much more against personnel, but it does more against armor. But it has 20 shots in a round. That's going to do a lot more damage if it hits. The range is 100, which is a lot less than 180. Uh, suppression is higher, C versus D. And this grenade's going to be the same as mine. What does she get? Viper. Her gun's different too. What is that? 25, 10, 6 shots, 25, 10, 6 shots, 25, 10. Wow, her gun's better than mine? I mean, the accuracy is a little bit lower, but it does a lot more damage. And it has 6 shots. That's weird. Her suppression is super high, too. I wonder what that means. Be interesting find later. Now, Ragnade, that's a way to heal. Ragna, I forget what the material is exactly called, but it's Ragna something. It's basically super energy 
stuff that could do anything. It's basically the form of energy in this game. They've also made it so it could heal people if it's made into Ragnade, yay. Medium heal. So they all have field suits too, I think, yeah. All right, so he's gonna be good at shooting pe people. He'll do the most damage. He'll do somehow more damage than Avon, but she has so much less uh, HP. Let's start. So we gotta capture an enemy base. Let's see how we do. Dun 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 dun. Zeri, Cosette, we're beating these guys and getting in. Of course. Free morale. All right. Listen up. All right, so camps are important. Basically, as you see there, when you capture a camp, you could, uh, well, you could move, you could basically deploy troops there. Or you could make them retreat. Well, yeah, what's different in this game is apparently you recover HP whether you're in a camp or not. It used to be you only healed if you were, if Ragnade was used on you or if you were in a base camp. I hear it saying you, you receive a bonus, which is always nice. Ten four. All right. So overall view of the map is not much. Don't know why I see this jewel grounds over here. Probably can't really access that area. We have a stinky shock trooper and scout to take care of. Shock trooper will hurt you. See, the best thing about shock troopers, they're great for defense. If they're on standby and somebody crosses their path, they do a lot of damage. Like if I'm approaching him and he's shooting at me, I'm gonna get hurt so bad. Uh, how do I check him out? Oh, there we go. So not too much HP, neither of them is, come on, I just want to see what it says. 15, 25, 20 shots, yada yada, very low accuracy. How's that compared to my guy? Oh, different maps, that's interesting. Uh, there we go. I'm still learning the controls on this thing. Your gun... Has 40 accuracy as well, okay. Is your defense actually higher? Okay, now that's just because his innately innate defense on top of the field suit. So he has 11 from the front. I have 8 from the front. And what's she like? She's the same as me. So Zeri's going to be the best go against that first shock trooper, I'm sure. And let's see... About the other maps, how does this work? Change area. There's just two. Okay. We'll eventually get over here and figure that out. Let's just start. We're gonna start with uh, Zeri. Moving out. Okay, so that's saying I'm in the base camp. I guess that little highlight. There's that guy up there who's going to do a lot of damage if I'm not careful. I'm just going to rush him and hide behind those handbags. I'll just take some damage. We'll see how this goes. Yep. Or we could always toss, toss a grenade. Oh yeah, I forgot. If I don't toss a grenade, you won't do too much damage to them. Yeah, if you're behind a sandbag, even if you shoot them with a full clip, it won't necessarily hurt that much. Oh, you get a grenade back at the start of your turn? That's cool. 
Wait a minute. Oh, I pushed start. Dang it. Well, we were going to restart this anyway. I just want to run up and see how much damage I could do to him. Let me just think a sec. So you recover a grenade every turn. I don't know what the point of having more than one grenade is then, because you can only attack once per turn anyway. Anywho, let's see how much damage we do. We're going to crouch. Oh, ouch. That hardly hurt. Now let's see. There's no point in aiming at his head. You won't do more damage. I still will only take 14 shots to kill him, which is kind of interesting. Alright. Enemy silent! Ah, oh, jeez, I pushed that button again. I'm trying to retire. We get a failure. Sorry, Leon. I never could keep up with you. Failure story or how does this work when you lose? Mission failed. Okay. So there's no special you lost uh, dialogue. They say nothing you did matters and they kick you back to the briefing. Can we just skip this? Uh, deploy, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Skip this too. Let's try what he said. We're going to use a grenade this time. Stand by. Oh, I guess that's... They were saying something about camps and standing by. Maybe if you stand by, you... Does that mean retreat? Whatever. Let's try the grenade. Doesn't go far enough. Let's run it as a test, see if this hurts. Yeah, it did. I wonder if it would hurt more if it was thrown on the other side. Uh, let's... We're just running a few tests here before actually doing the map. So can we tell him to stand by? No, it would be a retreat. Let's try stand by on, uh... Zeri. Okay, so basically it's a free retreat if you tell someone to stand by. Then you could deploy. Moving out. And that costs one, I get immediate control of him. That's cool. So it's gonna be a lot easier to uh hop camps in this game it looks like. In the first game I think you basically ended up spending two points to do that. In this one, it's one point to get immediate control. Let's just rush up to him. Take out a grenade. Uh, grenade. See how much this does. That's instant kill. Yes. So what I want to test now... Uh, how do we do this? Retire. Blah, blah, Sorry, blah. I don't think throwing the grenade over the sandbags would do that much more damage, although it would probably get a behind bonus. I do want to just test that, though. And then we'll do it for real. Deploy. Start again. Okay, so let's send it on out again. See the little. Oh, they didn't give us the tutorial anymore. I guess it's because we already played once. Back up a bit. Each weapon, toss it. It's not behind him. What's it behind him? 
did a lot more damage. What was the other thing I wanted to check? I don't think there was anything else. So now we're going to... Let's check this out. So it cost one to retreat. And if we were to... Deploy, we could deploy immediately. Okay, let's go. And take control immediately. Alright, I do like this camp system better. Okay, we'll be playing it for real now. Sorry, Leon. We're just testing out I some. Never could keep up with you. Some mechanics. I heard in this game they're going to make most Gary, of the units Cosette, more useful. We're beating these guys and getting in. Whereas in the first game, it's pretty much scouts did everything you needed. Shock troopers were only okay for defense, but you don't really play defense much. Anyway, we're going to play this rec more recklessly. They want me to use a grenade, but we're going to do what my first idea was, which is to rush the guy with the shock trooper, because we saw... Ouch. Now getting shot point blank hardly hurts either. I think because these are all training, training thing. Oh, clipping through my head, ow. But since this is all training, uh, we're not taking much damage. Plus I have a high defense because I'm a shock trooper. Anywho, it says uh, side, I'll get higher aim. 14 hits will kill. So this should be it. Enemy silent. We still have some movement points. Let's see if touching the body makes them disappear. Yep, just like the other game. Not sh really sure what the point of doing that is. The sight line is yellow, which means he sees me, but I guess I'm not in range yet, which would be what red means. Now those sound effects are too far for me to reach this turn, so we're just gonna stay right here so we're not in the open. Although... No, let's have to move as far as possible. Now this is kind of reckless, but... We don't have to worry about it. During camps. So we have so much HP, so much defense. With the enemies guarding it. So capturing camps is how it works. You, you would figure it works. You go there and you capture it. Though you have to get rid of anyone standing in the area first. Can I reach these handbags? Nope. Let's just end our turn. Fortunately, the enemy won't be shooting at him while moving other people. So this... I have better health than Cosette, so let's move me first. Out. Uh... Oh, we can't go that way yet. Okay. We're gonna throw a grenade at this guy. Uh, hello, there we go. Normally standing in the opening and doing open and doing stuff like this is really stupid, but we have so much HP I'm just going to abuse abuse it. Let's crouch. You can see in the lower right how much HP I have, it's ridiculous. Let's blow this guy up. He didn't like that. He also died. I wonder if you could make it. Uh, yep. We captured it with one CP to spare. Oh, okay. This is different. I think that's less than last game. I'm not sure. Oh, 
Oh, okay, we were using the CP, uh, the command on the command menu, but I guess you could do it while in control, too. Which could be helpful if there's, like, enemies approaching your camp and you want to just get out of there. So, yeah, stand by. We don't need you here. Uh, mostly, yes. <laughs> Alright. I don't think it should be that complicated. So you capture the end camp in one area, the end gateway, and the opening gateway in another camp becomes yours. Alright, in the first game when you deployed someone, you had to wait a turn. And then they appeared. In this game, they deploy instantly. which And they go under your control. That's crazy. I like that. Wow, that took a long time to explain. Liar. Rest. I like that word. Okay, so he didn't mention how you could send people back by just doing this. Because what most people might do is you might take control of her, which would cost a CP. And then you stand by here, and you've just wasted a whole CP point. Instead, I'm just going to do it for free, like this. Now for him, though, it would cost a CP to make him retreat. We're not going to worry about him just yet. We want to start here. So let's see, we have a scout. Uh, see anything special? I doubt it. Nope. The neat thing is the enemies in this game looks like might be Galleon rebels instead of the Imperial army. Because like they said, there's a ceasefire. So the first game did basically sort of end the war. But now we have to fight the enemies who are rebellion, rebel the rebellion against our Darkson uh, Empress. I forget what her title is. So let's see. Let's uh, deploy Avon. See what he could do against that scout. Moving out. Okay. So new area. There's a scout up there. Let's take him out. We're just going to rush straight forward. Oh, engineers. Yes, healing. Is your other one disarming mines and stuff? So you can heal yourself too. That's always good. Far away? Okay, he didn't explain how far away works, but that's good to know. Okay, so she restocks grenades. Oh, were they talking about the whole getting a grenade back thing, meaning like if you have multiple grenades, like let's say you have five grenades, you get a new one the next turn. So you still, you know, we'll see if I have a grenade. Who, did I throw any grenades? No. We'll have to figure that out. Just what they explained earlier was a little bit confusing. If they're talking about that now, we have to restock them. Which would make, uh, have it make sense that there's a limited number, like one grenade, for example. They probably just didn't phrase it very well. Okay, now I didn't read if they said that the restocking is free. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, you know what? They did that in the first game. Yeah, so it's free, I'm sure. Let's just rush this guy. Oh, crap, there's another guy. He didn't appear on the map. Sneaky. Uh, let's go slowly. You know what? We could have done it quicker with auto target. So instead of throwing a grenade at this guy, let's shoot the guy who could easily hit me in the back. Let's we'll shoot him in the head. Coming at you. Yeah, we actually missed a shot that time. Enemy down. 
Oh, no, no, no. Turns over. End the phase. Yeah, I guess we don't have any more we could do. Now, it might seem silly I'm facing away from that guy, but your orientation doesn't matter when you're behind a sandbag. Although in this game, it's not just getting shot in the head. It depends on where they're shooting you from, too. So maybe facing away, even if I'm in a sandbag, they'll do a bit more damage. Wow, great return fire there. You're just like the enemy. He'll shoot people who are within range if they move. Uh, AP use up. And he died. That's good. I didn't know I'd be able to kill a guy behind the sandbag. Though, didn't he stand up like an idiot? A lot of weird little things happened that turn. AP use up, I think, was an ability. I don't think it's mine. Uh, let's see if it explains anything like that. No? It's probably the enemy's ability. Uh, squad. What does two mean? Oh, that's the... So we could have three people deployed per area, I guess, and six total, so three per area, six total. Anywho, we're not going to play around with moving other people up. We're going to be the demented psycho who rushes forward with one person. See how that works out. All on units. So, it takes a while to heal them again, but you could use them later if somebody gets knocked out. Oh, okay. In the first game, they actually died. I guess in this game, they, uh, well, you could you just can't use them for the remainder of that map. Okay, so I guess that guy shot at me and ran away. Let's see if we could find him. We'll just inch around this corner. You hiding behind that crate? I guess so. I don't see anything back there. I still don't know what this parts thing means. Like machine gun stock A, I think it said. Enemy spot. Oh, here he is. Can't see me yet for some reason. Oh, wait a sec. This is kind of strange. So the rock is in the way there still. It isn't if I'm aiming directly at his head. I don't trust that. I kind of want to go around the rock a bit first. Take it out. Take out your gun. Okay, you got one shot on me. Enemy down. All right, so that might be everybody. Let's go through the sandbags because there might be somebody right past here I see one I yes see one. yes uh, let's end the turn I mean if we were taking advantage of our HP and stuff we would just rush to the next sandbags but Moving out. let's try to play semi realistically shoot you in the head and plus, we get better aim for this close, so works out. All right. Now let's get close enough so that we might be able to kill that guy and then capture the base. Notice our total AP at the bottom. It's a lot less than what it was when we were first moving him. Just through any total turn, like uh, at the very start start of this turn, with my first one CP, I would have had a lot more. It's just that if you use the same guy multiple, multiple times in the same turn, uh, you can't move them as much for each main turn. So this guy's going to be a problem. I don't think I'll be able to take him out this turn. And plus, that was kind of stupid. If this was a real map, he would have killed me. And he'll kill me this turn when I try to throw a grenade at him and uh, it doesn't kill him. 
But what we're going to do is we're going to cheese this. We're going to blow him up and capture the base because he'll be out of the camp area if I do this right. If I am here, he should fly in the opposite direction. That's usually how it works. Unless they count him as bouncing against the sandbags. I forgot what happened with the other guy. So we're just going to do this and see. Ah, he's still in the camp. At least I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yep, still in camp. So that doofy idea didn't work. You probably won't get an A rank now. But I'm not so worried about the ranks. It just would have been fun to do it. Oh, my HP is actually fairly low because I was fooling around the shock trooper guy a bit too much. So if it was a smart guy, he would have used his shock trooper with every single CP and shot me every time and probably killed me. But the computer, I think this was the same last game, will usually use a guy just once each turn. We'll see how this game goes. I think it's, especially since this is a training mission, they probably aren't so mean and are just taking it easy. Okay, let's go. So let's shoot this doofus in the head. Two shots, six shots. I can't kill him if I shoot him in the body, so I'll shoot him in the head for sure. Coming at you. Oh, I didn't check my grenades. I want to see if uh, All right. I only have one grenade. Uh, we can't check that, I think. No. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure I, I just have the one grenade. Nice! They've got to let us in after that. There could be some kind of conflict where we don't get in that easy, but we'll still get in anyway. Let's see, there's leaders, aces, tanks, and key, key targets you could defeat for more points. Nothing about, uh... Nothing about, uh, spare parts or anything. Still need to figure out what that means. Yes! We did it! I have all three of you on Team A as having passed the written exam. Oh, I passed too. Guess that means you're in. Because we passed the I'm so worried field test, that's for sure. But we did it. I didn't even move you once. It's because you guys helped push me along. Or just leave you behind. No worries. <laughs> the field exam was the only part I wasn't worried about. Next is the aptitude screening, you two. I try not to dawdle. What aptitude are they screening? Nah, guess we'll find out soon enough. Aptitude for Valkyrie Powers. We're ready to screen you. Step Hello. through the gate, please. Sure again. What is it? That blue glow is Ragnite, right? Oh, so they are testing our affinity for Ragnite powers, which is kind of what the Valkyrie basically do. What does this thing tell you? I don't Let's see. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, I want to be a doctor someday. It's interesting that we already controlled her as an engineer. Wow. But they hadn't placed That's her yet. What did you I get guess uh, game mechanics wise, they had to do that. I placed as a shock trooper. And you? I'm not really sure. They told me I could be any unit class I wanted. Really? Can we actually change them up? Oh. Does that mean you have an aptitude for all of them? That's amazing! Main protagonist, Sniper. That'd be different. That, or an equal lack of aptitude for any of them. Oh, you're such a downer, Zeri. You jerk! You're gonna be like this all the time. Don't you two start again. We all just made it in. Let's try to get along. Yeah, I guess you're right. We're in this together now, guys. I came here with a purpose. 
And I'll tell you now, it isn't to pal around with clowns like you. To kick ass and take names. I'm going to the headmaster's office now for my class placement. Hopefully it's away from you two. What's that kid's problem? I don't Thinks know. he's so special because he's got glasses. He does want <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Glasses. Um, I kind of doubt it's because of his glasses. Ooh, but I should head off now too. I'll see you later, Ivan. Alright. Next stop, the headmaster's office. It would be cool if I could pick a class or even change it throughout the game. Maybe I can get some info about Leon out of him while I'm there. It's worth a try, at least. Yes. I'm not a fan of single saves simply because of the possibility of corruption. Maybe I could create a copy. Yeah, I could create a copy of it after this is all done, so no worries. So we could only go to the head office. Enter. Avon Harden, sir. I just passed the entrance exam. Ah, congratulations. Let me be the first to welcome you to Lancio. I am the headmaster here, Lawrence Clivert. It's nice to meet you, Avan. Clivert. Never heard a last name like that. It seems your exam results place you in Class G. That a good thing? I hope you'll class make the most good? of your time here at Lancio, my boy. Class great? Um... Is there something else, son? I wanted to ask you about my brother, Leon Hardens. Leon was your... I see. Leon was just a student here. How could he just go and die? Oh, he touched Ragnite. He ate Ragnite, and then he blew up. Sorry. Your That's what happens when you eat Ragnite, by the way. Great promise and a true patriot. Not really, but if you have Ragnite powers, you could turn into a nuclear bomb because... You know, they had to have an analog, and they had to make it a kamikaze analog, because they're crazy. Yeah. He stood out amongst his peers in intelligence, strength, and leadership. Uh. I'm afraid national security concerns prevent me from giving details. And I don't like your face. But just before his death, he was appointed to a special mission. A special mission. Ah, so like Solid Snake, he uh, totally found the Metal Gear, and uh, they want nobody to know about the Metal Gear. That's right. It's a solid I secret. It from Leon's letter. I've been selected for a special mission. It's an honor and an opportunity. That was his last letter. The next I heard was from that Brixham guy. As I imagine you know. This is Gallia's only military academy, Ivan. That's putting all your eggs in one basket. The students here study and train tirelessly to keep their nation safe. That was Leon's aim in accepting the mission that cost him his life as well. Sadly, that is all I can tell you. That and that your arrival here well, I feel Leon's hand is guiding you to us. Maudlin as it sounds. Another fun word. Hmm. What does Maudlin mean? Gallia's people are living in fear and anguish in the face of rebel atrocities. I pray you will grow to become a powerful force for justice, Aban. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. Do my best at my worst. Hey, Dem Bones, long time no see. Another YouTube chat guy. <laughs> oh, that laugh. Please don't ever do that again.
Well, it's cleaner than my room. <sighs> I don't think I've ever heard sleep like into a rock. I mean, there's babies, there's logs, you know, song logs. No option but to sleep. All right. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Probably give one more mission in here. <sighs> oh, he's gotta look for another inspirational quote. But taking it in slowly would have it pile up and get you overwhelmed. So basically ignore all your problems so you don't go into a panic. Gotcha. Did Leon seriously draw, write up a huge book full of inspirational quotes and give it to Avon? Because that's kind of weird. Get a lot of little cutscenes and talkies about school, and then finally we'll be able to fight. To the girl. No? Let's get close. Let's just get hit him from behind. Nope. Made it. Oh hey, cause that you're just like me, a dunderhead. Cosette? What are you doing here? We're in the well, same class. I early so I wouldn't have to rush, then ate a good breakfast. What are the chances of Zeri being in this class, too? But then I was so full, I kind of nodded off. I got here just under the wire. What are yep. you doing here? Oh, hey, it's Zeri. Who the fuck? What do you mean, what are we doing here? We got put in class G. What? Oh, of course I had to be placed with you. Oh, wow. Yay. I'm in class G, too. All three of us are together. How's your teacher gonna look? Psychotic? Cool. Has Ill use for nice. Failures such as yourselves. Okay, she's not nice. Whoa, is that coming from the classroom? Oh, mm. hello. Identify yourselves. Uh, nice pose. Me? I'm Yvonne Hardens. I'm in class G starting today. I like her collar being all. Whatever it is. Hmm. Another fine misfit for your pathetic little club. It's like a folded napkin. And we get the usual start below. I am Juliana Everhart, chair of class A, the finest class at Lanseal. Sorry, I'm just thinking about how lots of enemies start way too low for those kind of shots. Uh, let's see. What's she doing here, then? This is a sort of landfill for those with abysmal entrance scores. What? Same with Zuri? Nah, she's just talking cr trash. Hey, what's your deal? It's the unalloyed truth. <laughs> you haven't even produced a class chair. 
Your sustained presence at this academy shames me. You stain Lanceal's name. <laughs> yeah, them bones are saying this class doesn't sound that great. It's like class, uh... I put it to you, rejects. Is there not a single volunteer for a class chair? Class, uh... Gookie? Oh, that's reminding me in the X doesn't make any sense, uh... Class Not Garfield. You see, just as I said, they're all lazy and non-committal. What? Huh? What? Me? Wait a second. What are you doing? What? Oh, oh my! What am I doing? I, I only accidentally grabbed your arm and pulled it straight up like that. I just got so angry listening to her talk. My hand just shot up. I accidentally pushed yours up. With my hand in it. Ridiculous. These silly antics. It's painfully obvious that you don't have what it takes. Oh, there we go. Dembone says, "Clash." Gosh darn it. That works. Sort of. I'll take it. What? What's your problem? Talking down to everybody like you own the place. What are you even doing here? Go back to your class. You want a class chair? Fine. I'll do it. Hey, look, there's Chun Li on the right there with her little uh hair things. Please, you're barely fit to follow, let alone lead. That takes an elite. Ah, elite class units. You get special powers, more. That's not what she means. But they have that in this game. What a tiresome word. There are few things more pathetic than the pedigree of a self-styled elite. You impertinent beast! A darksin! Presuming to mock me! I'll have your... Lasses! What's going on here? Even you lot don't usually make this much noise. You don't know Brixen. us, we're new. Juliana, is there a reason you've chosen to visit us today? Yes, yeah, seriously. What do you want? Professor Brixham, I was just on my way. All right, let's begin today's lesson, shall we? I wonder how much class stuff is going to take part in this game. Like, how are they going to incorporate it? Is it just going to be the overall... Uh, <laughs> that laugh. Is it just going to be the overall framework of the game? Or is it going to actually be something we do? Nope. These are going to be more squad members. Oh, he's introducing us. Yo! Really? I mean, that's a funny thing to say if he's being funny. <laughs> I hope he is. See, there you go. Great. Class, great. Uh, you don't really need to say that. Now everyone will be talking about me. Scarlet Lion? She's got a Donald Duck hat. Even amongst first years. If these are first years, you would think you would have heard all these tales too. I probably don't ever watch the news. Hey, sewing. That's always a useful trade to have. What? Oh, man. Yeah, there's kind of a rumor about Darkson's always bringing bad luck. Mostly because of their history and supposedly destroying an entire civilization or something, but it wasn't them. They got a bad rep. Wait a sec. Is that seriously what he said out loud? Yeah. 
Listen up now. How the heck do we get placed in this class? I mean, I get Kazet. Oh, maybe because there he's a dark sun. Okay, so this basically is the excuse as to why I get to command everybody. Oh, do I really have to think of a name? Six letters, that's it? I was gonna put in gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Oh, you could change it, okay. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Uh, let's just go with... Gosh. Two, three, four, five, I guess just gosh D. You know what? Let's just do golly. The golly squad. Ah, eh, titles. Okay. The golly squad. Six unit uh, letters are very small. Because that C O S S E. T no, her name's more than six. I wonder why. Who knows? All right, they're explaining how units with that little emblem, the CP emblem, gives you more turns, you know, more CP. Okay, so if you retreat somebody and they're not in the field, you won't, or if they're knocked out, you won't get the bonus. Basically, in this game, here is today's news. In this game and last game, you will always want to play everybody with CP points because CP is what wins the game. You need to move as much as you can. I wonder if Zeri and Cosette both have CP points attributed to them. Promising. Dream. Light. Clockwork. Shocking. Yeah, okay, you get really listed. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Perhaps we should shave first. Shave. Wait a minute. Joe, are you saying this game wasn't on the whitelist? I didn't do anything sneaky. I just plugged it in and started playing. Downloaded it from the PSN shop. There's stuff on the Vita, PS TV which is not compatible, which is kind of annoying. But uh, I didn't know Valkyria Chronicles 2 was supposedly one of them, which Joe is saying. She's probably just totally wrong. But she doesn't want to watch because she doesn't want to get spoilers. But yeah, that's, that's how it is, Joe. I just turned it on and started playing. No worries. Nothing bad. It just worked. All right, so I got all these exclamation points to look at. I may as well do them first before the mission. Do we even have a mission? Yeah, I think... No class notes. I don't know. Is this the briefing rooms where you do the missions? I guess. Oh, there it sits down there. Edit squad and accept missions. Withdrawing and hospital. Let's go ahead and just look at this. Oh, they're just notes. Well, let's learn about it. All right. 
Oh wow, it's a whole three missions. So they don't die, but they are out for a long time. In the first game, they die. Anyway, Joe says she thinks this really was on the white, the blacklist, like it wasn't playable. That's interesting. Joe is uh, basically the person who's always on my co-commentary videos and such. Which is kind of cool, usually. We're doing Dead Rising right now if you want to check that out too. Oh, so especially we don't want to lose... I wonder if the CP units... In the first game, if a main character unit died, they wouldn't die. Which was kind of cheap, but uh, you could get them killed and they'll just be right back. I wonder if in this game, because of hospitalization, if when a main character uh, gets hospitalized, if they uh, will be out for three, turn, three missions, that will mess up your CP points, that's for sure. Okay, Joe's being a bit confusing. If it's not on the whitelist, that's not the same as being blacklisted, but all I could say is that I downloaded this from the store and started playing it. That's it. Good. Potentials. This is the fun stuff. That's it. Okay, they're just saying that sometimes potentials will happen. They didn't explain it all. There's basically special abilities that could occur based on things like some people like moving on roads or they like the countryside, so they might attack better in those areas. And it doesn't always happen, it's at random. Yeah, orders were really good in the first game. I'm sure they kind of dialed them back in this one a little bit. So, okay, we want to go to the drilling grounds and raise our class level. We'll be sure to do that at some point. But we got all of these things to look at. Let's go to the grounds. See if we could do something about our, uh, whatchamacallit, hmm. command points. Probably not just now, because we have this event going on. Got a minute? Uh, who the heck are you? So we saw upper right girl, but n none of the others yet. Oh, okay. So we got Lancers. You're not going to tell us the other people? You're not even give us names? Here we go. Are you a guy or a girl? Sorry, I was so distracted. I didn't really read what she said. Did she say she wants to be a soldier's a wife? Uh, okay. Celsius. Oh, it was a real person's last name. But yeah, Lancers are great against enemy tanks. And if there's landmines you want to step on because you're insane, send a Lancer to them. Yo! All right, we're going to go to all these different areas and they'll introduce the classmates who are these different classes, I'm sure. And good evening to you, Mr. Surge, another chat room YouTube enthusiast. Let's go to the hospital. I guess engineers will be introduced to here. Hello. Yo.
I'm not gonna remember any of your names, sorry. Yep, engineers. Yeah, uh, Randy one. Yeah, son. That's a... I don't know. Strange name. Um, hi! So, Ran... Randy... Raymond... Sophia... Sophia... Huh. I'm sure once we're past all these introductions and stuff, there will be a lot more actual gameplay. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of these little things interspersed throughout. I mean, the first game had a lot of talking and stuff, too. But since this game's going to be all about school life, I'm sure it's going to be a lot more kind of happening. Yo! I do like the idea of being able to heal from farther away. First game didn't do that. Just how far, though. All right, so let's see. Shock troopers, where will they be hiding? What units do we even have remaining? Shock troopers, snipers, and, uh, well, scouts. I'll say the scouts are in the courtyard. <sighs> Yeah, you look like a Scottish kind of guy. Yo. Hey. Now you can't possibly use all these characters. Kind of just pick your favorites. Armored techs. Do you operate Hello? tanks or is this, is this a new unit? Are you free? Are you free? Or what? What do you want? You want to go on a date? <laughs> you're not even a... You're a dude, aren't you? If I may. Mishlet. <sighs> okay, so this is different. Oh, so engineers don't do that anymore? <laughs> These guys are good for advancing, I guess. We'll see. Different kind of unit. An armored unit. That's that's a change. It used to always be the Lancers and the Shock Troopers were who you put up for going into enemy fire. I guess these guys are the best best ones now. All right, Mess Hall's going to have the Shock Troopers. Hey, dude! Do not be, uh... Do not be, uh... Confused. Shock Troopers aren't always big buff people. But they're scouts, so... Never mind. Usually I don't use the uh, shy people. They tend to have bad abilities. There are bad abilities. Old dudes are wild cards. They're kind of fun to use. They usually have some kind of weird ability like, oh no, they have a bad back or something. And if they crouch, they get hurt. And hello, Melissa. <laughs>
Yo. Scouts were always the best unit to use by far, simply because they had the most AP. And when upgraded, they got grenade launchers, which was insane. I'm pretty sure they balance things out in this game, so they're not as insanely powerful. So this will be snipers, right? Yeah, Mr. Sir, just saying shy people do tend to usually be, uh, horse picks. There were a couple shy people that were okay, oh, but they usually came with a pretty big downside. So are you a sniper? Shock troopers. Oh, we didn't do shock troopers. Okay, so we don't have snipers yet, I'm guessing. They must have snipers in this game, though. Yeah. Good day. Right toe. Hmm. Camp man. Oh, really? He's just embarrassed hanging out with a bunch of girls. He thought being a shock trip would be a manly job. Nemesis. Never thought of the uh, plural of nemesis. <laughs> no, 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 don't. Oh, creepy. A mute button. Like whenever he laughs, just just turn it off. Okay, so we don't have any other options than the briefing room now. So I wonder if we did the briefing room first. We're gonna overwrite all those events and we just miss out? Quite possibly. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Listen up now. Okay, so they're not mentioning snipers yet. Is it possible we don't have snipers in this game? Because that's a pretty specific ability. No one else could just shoot from far away, unless Armored Text can. Oh, that's right. They actually have better sight, too. That's something to remember. Yeah, hopefully shock troopers have more use in this game. I really liked the idea of them in the last game, but scouts basically did everything you needed. Yeah, go away, Joe. Spoiler soon. Although this is all just school stuff, you know, ooh, nothing too crazy yet. Although I'm randomly saying spoilers, so yeah. Yes, Lancers are very good at uh, tanks. Everything else, not really. Yeah, repairing tanks, that's very important. So let's see, they didn't mention disarming mines, I guess it's just these guys now, maybe. Oh wow.
So they have to go right up to a guy and smack him over the head. Well, that used to be a thing engineers did, uh, repairing sandbags too. I'm not sure about this split. Engineers were a very good class as well. The only difference was they uh, were usually weaker, but they were pretty good. Like engineers and scouts were the best units just because they could move farthest. Okay. Are you going to put it in my notes somewhere? Ah, Avon. How can I help you today? All right. Let's I guess we better edit our group. And here we have all these people. I mean, we were introduced to them, but this is always fun to try to figure out. I don't think we have to look at potentials or stuff yet, so we might be able to just pick who we like. Uh uh, rename group. This is a group of... Okay. So let's see. They already gave us a few people by default. Now what is this? We can't have all these guys. Oh. You could. How does that work? You have 18 people in a group. Oh, that's right. You take all the people out, but you could only... Uh, when you're in a mission, you can only use so many of them. It still seems a little bit different from last game. I think you picked your whole squad. Whatever. So we have to... How many people do we have total? We have... Uh, well, one, two, three, four... Five. So we have to pick five people we don't like, I guess. Do we have any additional information about... Yes, we do. Wow, they're already showing us potentials. Uh, our defense... These happen at random, so it's not always happening. Okay. And that's what he might learn later. Those are pretty good uh, potentials. Starts with these orders. Uh, firing accuracy. That's it. So are we sorted by... Oh, there we go. So we have scout, shock trooper, lancer, engineer, armor tech, and I am a scout. Mr. Sarah just saying pick the guys who are better drawn, as in in their pictures, because that probably means they're more important. Well, we'll see. So it looks like you could have one person sitting out per group. That should be easy to figure out. Let's start with Lancers. So I'm sure they're all the same with equipment. Their HP and stuff varies a little. Their AP doesn't. Just look at potentials. Just to, uh, here's the one they told us not to use. Can we look at her? Details. Mooch, when they run out of ammo, they somehow find more. They could lower their firing accuracy. They could lose the chance to take further action. Those are two terrible ones. How about these other guys? That's good. That's good. Her evasion could drop to zero. Still better than Colleen. What about Noelle? Alright, so if she's not around people, it'd be bad. Oh, hers aren't. She has two pretty bad ones, too. What's B versus P? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's just. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Reiner. That's alright. I 
Okay, so either Noel or Colleen stays dropped. Uh, Noel has more HP. I'm not gonna worry about likes. That's all about like if you pair them up with these people, they do better. It gets really complicated. I usually don't even bother with that. I tried last game, but it just got stupid. Okay, so her two were losing the chance to take further action. Lowers accuracy. Okay, so that happened. Same thing with her. Lowers evasion skills. I'd rather have evasion skills drop, so we'll keep Noelle. So they picked the one I don't want. That's fine. Uh, Sophia, how are you? Are all of your equipments the same? Yes. What do you got here? Dodging. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. So your firing accuracy lowers if men are nearby. Uh, what do you got? Stage fright. Evasion, not moving. I think you are going to be the one that we leave out. Uh, ranging the aid of healing sounds good, too. Maybe the bees are always in effect, I don't know. We're not going to take forever doing this. Just trying to see how it works. But we're just going to quickly pick guys. Uh, accuracy drops, yada yada. Let's get rid of this guy. I mean, two abilities which could lower your... Accuracy? That sucks. You're done. You're not on my team. Sorry, Raymond. He was also the shy, wussy guy. Alright, who do we have here? Fear of water. Low vision drops. Nocturnal is always a cool one. Ah, uh, lowers. Interesting defense. Okay, so let's get rid of... I mean, some characters actually liked better than the others, but uh, what do you have here? We're gonna go ahead and get rid of... Let's just get rid of this guy. We didn't do shock troops yet. She seems okay, just not good around Darksons. Might get rid of her. I don't like random accuracy drops. Specifically, if Nicole's nearby. Who's Nicole? Okay, that's kind of random. No, I guess it's his, her brother. Does Nicole hate her, hate her back? Nope. Okay, so anywho. We definitely want to keep Sari. Do they show the little... Yeah, there's a CP mark on me. CP mark on Av Avon. Uh, maybe just me. Cosette and Zeri don't get it. Alright. Uh, scout killer, yada yada. He's good. 
basically accuracy. I don't like being dropped. Might get rid of Anisette. Yeah, let's just get rid of Anisette. And now we have scouts t to look at. There was fire accuracy, defensive plus in HP, good against Lance, uh huh. Lot. No, that's not good. So, two random things that could drop her stuff. Uh, he's just fed around a lot of enemies. Well, let's, uh, Jeez. Okay. And she likes Zeri. Now remember, these don't always happen. These are just the conditions in which they can. But being around women could make her accuracy drop. Uh, he could just randomly lose. No, no, it's if there's a lot of enemies. This one lowers accuracy at random. Let's just get rid of her. And that should be it for sending people up. We won't have to go through that again. Just so we could see every character. There's a lot of people in this game so far, and we'll get more later. Uh, that's the lead group. Her name is... I don't know. Green. Equipment. We can't really change anything, I'm sure. Nope. 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 We don't have anything to change too. I'm not gonna go through all this because I doubt there's anything different. All right, so missions. Let me make a timestamp so people could skip past all that stuff. Yeah, Mr. Surge says it's strange we not, don't have snipers from the get-go. I guess they just don't want us attacking people from far away just yet. I mean, snipers are very special. They're ordered by month. All right. Two more for January. Remember, the drill grounds could teach us new uh, command moves. And these both are. So capture and defeat all enemy units. We'll just do the first one for sure. So let's, let's go, go, go. Uh-huh. Hey, we have to choose from all these guys to place. I guess that's better than last game where you only had a few you could work with. Well, last game is like scout, scout, scout. Okay, so scouts were the best. But let's just place the main characters. We we'll have Zeri. We we'll have Cosette. She could be closer to the back. We'll have her here. Actually, I like D. I don't know if I really want to bother with these armored guys. Yeah, they're weird sounding. What's their AP? Uh, AP 350, 450. Lances are 350, Shocker 350. I don't remember what the differences were last game, but that sounds closer, because it's 450 for scouts and such. Alright, anywho. So we do want, do we want to bother with la uh, Lancers? You know what, let's take one of these guys, whatever. We'll stick, uh, 
Who do I like best? I kind of like Sock Hat. Or, it's not a Sock Hat. Who will be my favorite? Does firing actually really better matter for these guys? Alright, I'll just use him. We'll put him in the front since, uh... Since they move a bit slower. And I suppose we could just stick a Lancer in there. But I don't think we'll need it. Nah, you know what? We'll just stick another scout. We could always deploy one of the other guys for free anyway at the start of a map. That seems to be how it works now. Who's my second favorite scout? Eh, yeah, misogynist. I don't think I like that on a scout. Less than half HP. I don't like that he hits Darksons, but uh, let's just give him a go. And we get to start. Yeah, this game seems to be more forgiving about how you set people up, I think. Because if I see I need a Lancer, I could just send somebody to standby for free and deploy the Lancer. It will just cost one Let's CP total, damage, which would be the CP used to select him if I had already pre-deployed him. Uh, here we go, morale. Oh, uh, okay. So you could get better potential use if you raise your morale. And if it lowers, you lose the mission. Alright, so I don't remember what these mean. I think it means you can't go through that way for sure. They're barricades. I don't remember if you could destroy them or not. Let's just start with Avon. Moving out. There's a dude. Uh, he's already shooting. I wanted to look around. Uh, kill, shot, aim. Kill, uh-huh. Yes. Oh, simple math. I'm pretty sure side and front and everything didn't matter last game. All right, so let's see over here, man. Am I really going to waste time trying to figure out how that works over there? Not with Avon anyway, Avon's just going to try to take this guy out. Of course he's behind some stuff, so that's going to be trickier. I should have sent my shock trooper out. Let's try something nutty. I'm just going to run straight past him. Or not. We're going to look over here. Enemy spotted. Oh, that's... Okay, so what were those weird little... Was it these on the map? We'll see in a moment. So we're fairly far away. I don't trust this hitting. We're going to rush forward a bit. We already lost some health, but I think we'll be okay. Support fire is very powerful, but... 
I don't usually end up using it because I kind of push one person far ahead a lot of the time. Take out your gun. Okay. Be able to do this. There we go. Okay, so anything this way? Not see anything yet. That dude sees me, but I'm too far away for him to hit. See that guy from the side? Oh, you could shoot me, huh? Let's see if there's anything back here. You could still hit me. Bomb. Crisis is a turning point. Oh, right, bro? see, that's something that just randomly happened. Potentials really do just randomly happen, but you have to be under the conditions for them to happen. The brother's words, though, just randomly happens. It's something like uh, hates women. If you're around women, it might just randomly happen. But this was one of those. Anyway, we're gonna end this turn. I think I want to see how much damage does this guy even do. Uh, oh crap. I didn't get a check. I messed that up. Oh well. We're just going to have him go straight for the enemy. I want to see how much damage his weapon would do. Okay, so... Huh. Looks like he'll get him one shot. That's good. So he might be good for getting guys behind sandbags and such. That was my thought, and might be. You also have a grenade. Well, let's just whap him. No dodging now. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Look at me. And can he reach that flag? I found one. Yes, I could move all my people up there already. That's true. If you get rid of leaders with the red hats, apparently they won't be able to move as many times during their turn. So no one's shooting at me. Let's capture the base. And we can move all of our people up. Can he reach the sandbag? Nope, that's okay. Oh, he's all tired because he moved too much. All right, so turn done. Now let's check uh, you out. Let's see, it's triangle. Uh, equipment. 120, wow. Like, let's see. Most he's gonna do is 16 times 5, which is what, 80? So. Of course, Zeri could do a ton, because it's 40 times 170, which is a lot. But. This is nothing small. 120 just guaranteed if you're right next to the guy. And I guess maybe the sandbag didn't matter. Area effect, so I could attack multiple people if they're within range. Last suit, front defense, 24, that's a ton. Like, compared to Avon's 8, and Zeri's 11, even. Okay, so, uh, we want to... No? No, no, no. You want to stand by everybody, it doesn't cost anything. Then I could send them out here. So yeah, what was... What was that image? I don't know. It didn't mean anything. Uh, let's see if there's anything special about these guys. You're the commander, that shock trooper. Uh, just 
try not to mess this up. So, chalk up info. Your AP now is 233. He started with 350. If I remember correctly, each square is 100. He was around here. So 50, 150, 250, 3, yes. So if he has, what, what was it, 2, 2 something? Was, uh, 233. So he should definitely be able to reach this shock trooper. Was he behind a sandbag? I think so. All I know is that he should be able to approach him and smack him over the head. Yeah, okay, sure. He was by the sandbag. Let's just go right on over to him. I run slowly too. Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. Do it. Alright. He would be two hits, because he's a shock trooper. I guess he has more HP. That's okay. I know Jockham could approach and attack safely, so... No dodging now. Against a shock trooper, probably a smart idea. Uh, no, 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 don't repair it. Oh, I guess that's fine. They can crouch. That guy's stuck standing. My HP still just fine. If I wanted to, I could use him again to attack. Or, I could bring someone else out. Oh, well, may as well use him again. Why why bring someone else? Yeah, okay, sure. So here we go. Just one smack and he's gone, but let's see where I'm gonna run after this. Uh he may be able to reach that sandbag. I didn't check the map ahead of time, so we don't know for sure. No dodging now. Go ahead and repair it again. That lowered <laughs> their CP since he was a leader. And you won't be able to reach the other one, so stay right here. Bummer with this guy being a shock trooper and all. That's never fun. I think we'll use you. No, we won't. Let's bring out a shock trooper. 350. One. Two. Yeah, he could go far enough. out Zeri. Moving out. Zeri's gonna run up there and maybe throw a grenade or he'll be insane and jump around to the other side and shoot that shock trip like we did once before. Let's just check out his HP. And yeah, he's doing all right. Nothing to get wild about. Uh, uh, uh. Okay so here we go. See I lost 40. That's not great but I survived and we could certainly take him out. This is kind of stupid, because what you're supposed to do is grenade them, but why not do this? And also got a boost because of close combat. I forget what that does exactly, but... There we go. Let's crouch before we end our yes. turn. <laughs> that just looks so silly. Okay, so the other thing to remember, though, is... Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, shock troopers. If you have multiple enemies lined up in a row, you can actually shoot through, kill the first guy, shoot the next guy and kill him, you know, if he has enough shots remaining. It's pretty cool. Anywho, we may as well use him again to take out this guy, and that might be the end of the map. Moving out. I just hope we're not too close that we actually clip through him. I don't know if that's a thing this game. I guess we'll find out. No, that's good. Well, it looked like it was, sort of was. But we're good. And that's it for that map. Simple one. I'm sure that's an A. All right! We got the target! It's basically about speed. At least in the first game it was. Speed to get the rank, the higher ranks. So you have to do some stupid things to get them. I'll stop worrying some... Well, not worrying right now, but I'll probably do less stupid things later on when you're more likely to get badly hurt. Right now, pff, I'll just rush forward with shock troopers and stuff, why not? Okay, so we got some weird stuff. Lance parts. Wonder why we didn't see this stuff for the other missions where it said they had parts and such. Who knows? And all these other things. Items, tin rubber, cheese. Are we gonna be able to like build things? This is gonna be kind of I, annoying. Hopefully they'll make it simple. 
Uh, what the heck is this? Arms. Two arms. No idea. Bonus to stats? Who knows? This is where we review information. So I'm going to just be looking at this stuff now, the profiles and whatever other things they have in the glossary and call it a day. We'll do the final January mission uh, sometime soon. I don't know if I'll be streaming all of these, but I will be voicing all of them. So they'll go up on the channel as, as we go along. I'll also put up a non-voiced version, I think, though these long pauses like now might be a bit confusing. I'll just make a note of that. Alright, so let's see. Stats. Golly. Yeah, that's my squad name. 15 kills. Those weren't real kills, it was just practice. Practice kills. Uh huh. Failed the. Oh, that's when I was quitting all those times practicing things. Became class chair out of nowhere. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I was telling you how many times you deployed people. Yeah, scout. I guess how many times you moved them? Got no medals or anything yet. Okay, so let's look at the boring things first. Class notes. Co-op. Uh oh, it's actually gonna be a little is he gonna voice it? No. Okay, that's kinda cool. Let's take players. Okay, depending on your progress, join, you can only join missions you kind of are at a level to do. Da, da, da. That's it. You're not going to explain how it works. Do you just take, do you have the same CP and you just take turns or, you know, that's just a weird little thing. I didn't know they had co-op in this game, except one of the stat screens said co-op. They have versus battles, ad hoc mode. Multiplayer. You can actually do this with the uh, Vita as well, I believe. Or the PSTV. Seek players, turn limit, battle players with rules, handicaps. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so make sure the other person doesn't pick easy. Okay, so rule differences and versus. Soldiers don't get hospitalized. No CP bonuses. The first player starts with one less CP. Uh-huh. Okay. Withdrawing in the hospital. Yeah, this is something we've already seen. It's interesting that it's listed as new in here, though. And we missed one, or I'll talk about it later. Here's the other one which said absolutely nothing about potentials. And that's it. Hey. Honestly, I'm not going to pay too much attention to potentials and stuff, just because it becomes a mess to try to keep in your mind. It's just going to be kind of like an interesting flavor to the characters, which... Might, may or may not happen. So we cleared the news on those. Squad name. Yeah, we'll just, oh, right, titles. 
Uh, uh. Let's go with green, meaning we're new. Green Gollies. Gang. The Green Golly Gang. I'm pretty sure that's where we're going with. Yeah, we'll just do that. The Green Golly Gang. Now we can look at all the, uh, uh minutia. What's all this? Uh, the movies? Oh, you can actually watch all the events and stuff too. This is kind of how they did it in the first game. You just had a storybook and it would be like, oh, here's the story, here's the story, here's a mission, here's a story, and you would just proceed like that. Uh, January events, Academy Life, you put me in charge, Class G, bottom of the barrel. Okay, let's see if they give us interesting text about these guys. SG chair. Move and zoom. Oh. <laughs> of course, the other game had 3D models. Zoom. Uh, okay, so I see we zoom like this. Just keep the zoom level, no, it resets. All right, so let's see. Class G Shock Trooper. Okay, nothing too interesting. They're all 17. I guess we could just move up and down. Into it for his name. Yeah, we all we want to check out all of their pants. And even read about her, I think. Unable to enroll in med school. All right. Uh... So, he's just a mook that hides in dark corners. He's 27 year... He looks like he's seen things. Oh, he's from the Empire, huh? I think the Empire is not the Imperials. There's the this group of guys on the left and the right of Gallia. Increase is the capital of Gallia. I wonder if she'll have a uh, Lottie insider. She's hiding there too. Can we move her out? Yes, we can. Oh, that's hilarious. They start her hiding. Tuck your shirt in, lady. He's 18 years old. He's legal. Nothing too interesting in these descriptions. It's a big guy. I just realized the one way to tell for sure if they're a boy or girl is if they have a skirt or not. There you go, girl. Feel kind of doofy too. Check on, check that way, but that's the way to do it. Let's see if he's a, uh, if this is a boy or girl. Oh, boy. Reaching out to us. That gives him a pretty big picture. Huh? Oh. No, oh, she's probably a bad pick. I don't remember if I removed her from my squad or what. I 
I do like the idea of these armored techs now, that they just rush up to people and bop them over the head. It's kind of cool. Yeah, you're really selling yourself, uh, Morris. I wonder if you zoom out. No, wait. You get more picture. Now they automatically move it. Okay. So this is the whole picture. Boy or girl? Oh, we can't see. Now we'll never know. Oh, there's our sniper. Wait, was he blinking? That's where I saw... Yes, he's blinking. Do all these portraits possibly blink? I mean, I'll have to check, like, Avon. And yeah, she's blinking. Were they blinking all along? I didn't notice. Or maybe it's just the main characters that do. I don't even know if I read what he said. Yeah, okay. Did I check his pants out? Not so distracted by his uh, eyes. Yeah, I wasn't sure if she was a girl or not. Yeah, he's blinking too. Uh, that's the last one we have on file for now. Uh, let's see. Let's pick a random guy uh, or girl. See if she's blinking. Yes, no, maybe so. You're blinking. Did I really not notice that all along? Must be losing it, man. Does Raymond blink? He doesn't even have eyes. Yes, no, no. I need eyes to blink. Sophia. No, you know, I think I remember her blinking. I just didn't really think about it. So we don't have these first three, but we have these ones. Oh, okay. These are special, those special weird exclamatory events. Now let's just pick one and see how it goes. Can I just quit out of it or? Da -da -da -da. Yep, option just skips it. Okay. I think that will be it. Let's just sleep so it saves, I guess. Maybe we have to see. There we go. Let's start the new day. Hopefully nothing. To begin, here is today's news. Okay, so we have a lot of sort of new things, which we're not going to look at right now. Well, thanks for watching. We'll pick this up later. Whether it's going to be an offline upload or a stream, that's a different matter. Just keep an eye out on the channel. Until next time, good night.